welcome to this edition of Chelmsford High School's Lions Pride. Let's meet our deans and our students of the month. And now I'd like to introduce the Dean from Whittier House, Dean John McIsaac, introduce his students of the month. Thank you, Principal Murray. Our first student of the month is Lila Koloski. Lila is currently enrolled in Concert Choir, Reality Check, English, Intro to Statistics, Communications and Media, and Environmental Studies. Lila is a member of the National Honor Society and the Triumph Music Honor Society. She's a very active member in the school community. She's part of the CHS TV Club, which we'll talk a lot about today. Um, the Lyme Organization, CHS Theater, CPS Tech, and the CHS Mentor Program. Outside of, work, outside of school, she works at the Keels right in Chelmsford. And after life here at CHS, which is only a few weeks away, Lala will be attending the University of Rhode Island. Uh, Mr. Murray is a proud alum. Uh, and she'll be majoring in sports media and communication in the Honors College. Welcome, Lila. Thank you. So let's get right to the CHS TV. Usually you're on that end of things for <laughs> yes. the tapings and behind the cameras and at sports games. Kind of what has the, the group meant to you and like what are the things have you done in that in the capacity of that role? Yeah, so this year I'm one of the co-live events producers. Um, so I'm in charge of basically any production that gets filmed. That could be live sports games or it could be pre-recorded concerts or like the musical for cast and crew, anything like that. Um, so that's kind of been my role this year and then I've been I've done pregame producer for the past two years for um, football and then kind of for basketball um, if it works out and it's CHSCV has always just been my home it's somewhere I can always go I know that it it will always be there if I ever need just a chat if I ever just need two seconds I'll just come in here and like re like get myself together and continue on with the day do you think that obviously you started towards the tail end of COVID, mm -hmm. right? And we kind of morphed like all the broadcasting to that. I think all schools did, right? Do you think that helped in like the acceleration of your appreciation for it? Or were you already into like the TV Oh, absolutely. Stuff? Um, I say all the time if you sit, talk to little Lila four years ago, freshman year, and you told her she was going into broadcasting, she'd probably laugh at you. Like, I, it has completely changed my outlook on things. Um, CHS TV had always been a like, a prominent club in the community but COVID kind of helped in like um, made it even more because people were more kind of dependent on it just with like sports games and stuff um, funny enough the sports first sports game I did I the only reason I was there is because my friend was live events producer at the time and she was like hey I need crew you should show up I was like uh okay um, but definitely it's changed my whole career path nice. I mean the students do a wonderful job Mr. Peterson it's it's a great aspect of the school offers. Uh, sports, media, and communication, kind of, I think we know how you got there. Like, yeah. tell us how you're getting there and like, what are your goals after school? Yeah, so I, it originally started with like the live events, the pregame producer, and then it moved to live events producer. And then this year I started, um, I started making the posters for some of the teams around school. Um, so just kind of that exposure and the opportunities that CHS has to allow me to kind of be exposed to those things have definitely changed um, what I want to go into and my hope is to be in like a managerial position for either a sports team or a stadium or anything like with the like live broadcasting side. Nice. If you could pick what sport would you be associated with at URI? They have division one sports across the board, basketball, football. What I sports? have, I, it's football. Like yeah. my dad tells me all the time, you got to think of other stuff. I'm like, I know, but the adrenaline of football and just like how big the production is here for football it's just it's become really fun for me and i've learned more about the sport itself for it so definitely football. outside of media courses at chs what have been the courses you've enjoyed the most um i loved sociology with mr o'keefe um i he's a very loud teacher so people <laughs> like are kind of intimidated by him at first but i that was like such an easy answer. I loved the stuff we talked about. I would leave every single class being like, that was so genius. <laughs> nice. Um, CPS, CHS Theater, and like as a tech, kind of walk us through with you for them, and obviously very busy with that too. Yeah, so I've done stage management for them for the past couple of years, as well as doing um, lighting and audio design for um, people who rent out the auditoriums. Um, theater, program like as a club here I've done like house management which is basically like decorating the lobby making sure that everyone's in their seats at the right time um, and then for tech more with like the actual design aspect of it. Nice. Okay. 
Well, our time is up. Five minutes went by fast. On behalf of the Rotary Club and Shelton Administration, congratulations on being one of Whittier House's Students of the Month. We're really proud of you, and best of luck the rest of this year. Thank you very Great. much. Go Rotary. Go Rotary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, huh? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
That's a wonderful statement yeah. to hear. That's so good to hear that. Thank you. And that's actually what a great way to end. Yeah. So yeah. Our, our time is up, but on behalf of the Rotary Club, which sponsors the program, and Stone Tree administration, congratulations Thank on you being one of the students of the month. Appreciate really proud of you. And uh, best of luck the rest of this year. Yeah. You've done a great job. It's going to be. Appreciate it, Mr. It's going to go well. Thank Thank you. Rohan. You Congrats. Thanks. And now I'd like to introduce Dean Aaron McNeil, Dean of Emerson House, to introduce her students of the month. We'd like to introduce Audrey Rice for Emerson's student, one of our students of the month for February. Audrey, thank you for being here with us. Um, congratulations. You have had a wonderful, I'm speaking for you, but from what I know, you've had a great time here at CHS. And one of the things that for you and other teachers talking about you that stands out so much is your ability to, you're so kind, you're caring, but you are one heck of a swimmer is when I ask about that. So Thank can you. you talk a little bit about your experience with um, your swim and dive and all of that here? Yeah, I mean, I've swum all my life and my sister joined the team when she was a freshman. So I like was so excited to join the team when I was a freshman. And the past four years have been not just a sport, it's like a family. It's so much fun. I've met so many of my like best friends through swim. Um, and, you know, I mean, the season's over now, but it was really fun. We had a lot of um, pasta dinners, a lot of fundraisers, a lot of just like team events. You know, I really miss practice and um, meets. And we went to our, we actually were um, lucky enough to go to States this year as well um, as a team, which was great. Do you think you'll do that next year too? Sorry. Okay. No, I'm not swimming in college, maybe like club Bump. possibly, but no. Yeah. And speaking of college, what are your plans for next year we'd want to share with the audience? Yeah, um, I'm actually committed. I committed to Boston University. I'm really excited. Um, I got into the School of Engineering, and um, I'm undeclared engineering for now, but I'm hoping to do engineering and architecture, double major, hopefully. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and what do you, because I'm kind of ignorant to what those two would, I know that they'd go together, but like, mm -hmm. what do you foresee yourself doing after college with those two? Yeah, so um, like for engineering, the one that would pair up most with architecture is probably mechanical engineering. And then I'll take some like urban planning, architecture classes, or things like that. And I also want to, um, I'm looking to do something in the future a lot with like energy and sustainability. Mm. Um, so like um, innovating things that would be like uh, beneficial to the environment. Pretty cool. That's is there been yeah. like a class you've taken here that's inspired that, or is it something you've always? Um, done? I have. To, I'm actually taking an architecture class this year, and I really like it. It's really fun. We are doing. We did do like one house design that was like clean energy design, but I've. I'm also taking apes environmental science, and I know that I really like um, learning about energy and clean energy, and just like making a positive impact and stuff like that. Awesome. So that's what I hope to do. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the rest of this year? It's almost over. Um, yeah, I know. Um, I mean, looking forward to, I mean, I have a lot of AP tests to study for. <laughs> I don't know. So excited. <laughs> I was looking forward to them. I mean, my, my like, um, biggest things are, like, prom and, um, like, the senior banquet and then graduation. You know, I just a lot of buying dresses. I was going to so. say, get all of your dresses. <laughs> I'm looking right now. I bought my prom dress, but not the other ones yet. I'm That's so excited, funny. though. I love buying dresses. <laughs> I told my friends I'm just going to buy a bunch of dresses and say their first senior week, right. but just like one every day. I just want all of them. Perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Um, and just graduating in general, you know. Excellent. So what's, other than swim, when you go to school, you'll be working really hard, those majors, what sort of things do you do outside of school that uh, to kind of recharge your battery and, and gives you a lot of joy? Um, yeah, I mean, swim, and then I also love hanging out with my friends and um, you know, I did do a club swim, but since I'm not swimming in college, I'm not doing it anymore. But um, I've swum my whole life at Russell Mill in Chelmsford, and this year I'm hoping to at least work there so that I can just still be in, around my swim friends and everything that's excellent. in the summer. Has there been any, any adult here or teacher that's been kind of like a mentor to you or somebody that um, you'd like to just say thank you to for your experience? Um, well, two of my teachers last year I really um, had a great experience with. Um, Mr. Bartos and Dr. Chanini, both of them were great. I had them for Lang and Bio. 
And I mean, I went on this trip last year to the Galapagos Islands that um, Dr. Chanini um, chaperoned, and it was just amazing. I mean, she's a great, great mentor and everything. I loved having her as my chaperone. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you. Turtles? Yes, yeah, we saw turtles. tortoises and turtles, <laughs> and there was like, there were sea lions just like everywhere. <laughs> it was oh. really funny, but oh. it was so fun. Yeah. Well, our time is up, and on okay. behalf of the Rotary thank Club. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you for all the things you've done for our school, and we want to say congratulations mm. on behalf of the Rotary thank and Chelsea Administration. We're really proud of you, and wish you the best of luck the re rest of this year. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Dean Aaron McNeil, Dean of Emerson House, for the second student of the month from Emerson, who unfortunately can't be here, but we want to celebrate. Emerson's second student of the month is Ashvi Dozy. Ashvi is currently working at our internship with the Chelmsford Police Department, so that is why she's not here today. And she's currently enrolled in anatomy and physiology. She's taking AP Psychology, Modern World Lit, Spanish Two Honors, and AP Stats. Um, one thing that's pretty awesome about Ashvi is her desire and quest for knowledge. She's a diligent student who embodies a profound curiosity that drives her to explore various subjects with an insatiable thirst for knowledge. She is pretty much one of the only students I know that for her downtime and for fun, all she, she's learning, studying, and uh, researching on her own. She's infused with a subtle sense of humor, and she navigates the academic challenges with levity, and she fosters a positive learning environment. So Ashvi has only been with us here at CHS for two years. She came from India, and she has immersed herself into the CHL's culture. Outside the classroom, she's involved in multiple activities. She works at Honeydew Donuts and at a New World gas station, so she has two jobs. She also works at the Chelmsford Public Schools for their after school program and she's a junior counselor at three of the elementary schools and she's also part of the CHS Poetry Club and she teaches traditional Bollywood dance to young children and I don't know when she does all of these things. Um, one pretty awesome thing about Ashvi is she currently is fluent in five different languages and she has a great eye for reading people. This gives her an effective way to communicate with different people. Um, when asked about Ashvi, Mr. McGrath, her guidance counselor, stated that she's kind, patient, humble, giving, and respectful. And if he would hope one day, if he ever had children, they'd have similar qualities to Ashvi. So Ashvi, her goal is to make this place a better, the world a better place when she leaves it. And in the future, she plans to go to a four-year university. I don't know if she's committed anywhere yet to study psychology with the one day of becoming a child psychologist. Um, I know her time with the internship may change that a little bit. She's really enjoying um, studying and learning under the, uh, the people at the Chelmsford Police Department. Um, so I'm sad that she's not here with us, but we are so proud to have Ashby as one of our students of the month for February. Congratulations, Ashby. And now I'd like to introduce Dean Dean Christina Mitza from Hawthorne House to introduce her students of the month. Thank you, Principal Murray. Um, so we are here today with Tyler Connors. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you. Student of the month for February. Um, Tyler is being recognized today for his exceptional dedication and um, outstanding academic achievements over his last four years at Chelmsford High School. Um, Tyler took some very rigorous classes throughout his time here. Um, this year included um, Modern World Literature, CP, Pre-Calculus CP, Reality Check, um, E-Commerce Marketing, Sociology, and AP Psychology. Um, his hard work and dedication um, paved a way for him to become a member of the National Honors Society and take part in the CHS Mentoring Program where he has helped um, younger students in, in the school. Um, Tyler participates in a lot, um, so athletics, ec extracurricular activities, um, you can find him volunteering for the Chelmsford Youth, youth Baseball Christmas Tree Sale um, or uh, Chelmsford Youth Baseball Learn, Learn to Play. Um, you may even find him shoveling snow out of, off of the uh, McCarthy track. Um, but um, he also has um, uh, been involved in um, running stations for the unified basketball games um, for students who, who would be willing to, to play those. Um, and um, one of the things that I know Tyler um, has really enjoyed here at CHS is being a part of the baseball team, yeah. which is um, a season that um, is about to begin. Um, <laughs> so if you want to tell us, Tyler, a little bit about your time on the baseball team and what, you've, you know, what that's done for you and all that. It was incredible last year. All the seniors, they were awesome. And 
they kind of like introduce like a new way of like learning the game and it was really cool to like learn from them and especially like all the captains and it was really cool this year to be selected as a captain for the team so I'm really excited for well this deserved season. too. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's really great. Um, there are lots of staff members here um, at CHS who've had nothing but wonderful things to say about you. Um, Mr. Carpenito, who's your former English teacher, um, he said that this sounds like a hyperbole, but I mean it literally. Tyler is one of, if not the, very greatest kids I have worked with in my career. So uh, that if that's not a compliment, then I don't know what is. Um, you know, he said that um, as far as coaching, um, that you know he's talked with some of Tyler's coaches, and that they've said they wish they could coach a whole team of Tyler Connors. Um, so um, I know that you're also involved in a job at the moment at Game Time Sports. Yeah. Is that, can you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So we like rent out like baseball cages and basketball courts to people but we also do like camps for little kids mm -hmm. and when I was a little kid I used to do the camps and we'd have like high school players coach us and I thought it was really cool to like learn from them and now I'm one of those players so it's really cool to like watch the little kids and then see them improve. Yeah and to think of how you probably looked up to those high yeah. school kids and now they're looking up to you yeah, so that's, that's really cool. Um, I know in the fall you do plan to study sports management. Yep. Um, yeah. You haven't quite decided where you're going yet mm -hmm. which is totally fine um, and you want to work for a professional sports team one yeah, day. Yeah that's my plan. What are you yeah. hoping to do for that? That's what I'm hoping I can figure out in college. Okay, yeah. okay. all right great. Good. If you're thinking of any uh, classes you've had here what classes would you recommend any incoming freshmen say, you got to take this class? Uh, that's a tough one, but um, probably sociology with Mr. O'Keefe. That's like my favorite class right now. Why is that? Uh, just because it's really interesting and like learning. He tells a lot of stories about his own life, yeah. so it's really cool to like learn about stuff that like goes on in people's lives and how it can affect other people. True. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, Tyler. Thank you. I want to say that, uh, believe it or not, our five minutes are up. It went by that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of the, of the Rotary Club, which sponsored the program, and Chelmsford High Administration, I want to say congratulations on being one of uh, Chelmsford Students of the Month of February. So we're really proud of you. Thank you. And, Thank and wish you the best of luck the rest of the season, and, and hopefully things will start drying out for the, yeah. the baseball team. <laughs> yeah. Good. Best of luck. Thank you. So now I'd like to turn it, turn it back to Dean Christina Mitza to introduce the second student of the month from Hawthorne. Thank you. Um, so congratulations to Sritha Sitalam. Thank uh, you. She is our, our other February student of the month recipient. Um, we are celebrating a lot for Sritha over her last four years here at CHS, um, except exceptional achievements and really her perseverance and commitment to learning. Uh, so Sritha has taken many rigorous courses here, um, including this year um, AP Calculus AB, Clay and Sculpture, Biotech 2 Honors, Studio One Art, Reality Check, Modern World Literature CP, AP Statistics, AP Psychology, and AP U.S. Government and Politics. Um, so Sritha has a, a, a real dedication to learning um, and, and a real passion for learning, right, which has landed you in the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society, which is great. Um, she is involved in a lot of things, um, including um, extracurricular activities like the Interact Club, the Gift Club, CHS Dance Team, CHS Mentoring Program, um, and the WINGS Initiative. Um, also, you're a class rep for the class of 2024, which is great. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your time in the Interact Club and kind of what what that is and what you've done? Yeah, so I'm actually the vice president of Interact this year and I was treasurer last year. So it's more like a club that focuses on the students here at CHS, like people in need that can't, afro can't afford prom or like just things like that because we want everyone to be able to experience that. Mm -hmm. So it's been really fun, you know, just giving back to people like I actually would see on the daily so I've liked it. That's great. Um, so it looks like you're also um, have participated in athletics um, here at CHS. So um, girls cross country, girls track. Um, have you done those for all four years? Yeah, okay. I started freshman year, so. Great, great. What, what event did you do in, in track? I do the 800, Oof. so a long one. <laughs> it's a wow. long one. <laughs> um, 
Um, and girls cross country, that's been a great experience for you too. Yeah, I loved cross country. I was actually the captain this year okay. with two other girls, so it's been that's a awesome. fun experience. What was, what was the experience like being captain? Um, it was different, definitely, like, because there was more responsibility and like me like leading the girls and like just getting practice started even, mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. been interesting. Great. Um, and in the fall, um, we plan to go to UMass Amherst. You've mm -hmm. already committed, which yeah. is wonderful. Great. Do you want to tell us what you're planning to study there and where you want to go with that? So I'm planning on majoring in informatics and focusing on the health sciences pathway. So it's like a lot of coding and kind of comp sci, kind of bio. So it's going to be fun. Wow. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, if you were to, to think about... Um, a new kid coming here as a mm -hmm. freshman next year. What advice would you give an incoming freshman? Wow, I would definitely say get involved because it was hard for me to get involved freshman year because of COVID. But right. ever since then, like, I would do clubs like online, which is a def definitely a different yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. But it's been so rewarding. Like, I've met so many people, made connections with teachers, and like, it's been a great experience. Cool. That's great. That's great. Um, and then, um, do you want to tell us about your, you read 120 books last year. <laughs> Whoa. Amazing. Um, what's your favorite genre to read? Um, I would definitely say romance is my favorite. Okay. But I'm open to like any kinds of books. Okay. And on average, how long does it take you to read a, like a 400 page book? Like a 400 page book, <laughs> maybe like three hours. I'm a pretty fast oh, reader. Wow. Oh, hours, <laughs> I was talking days. Exactly. Wow, that's you really graduate program. impressive. <laughs> wow, good for you. Good when for I you. sit down, I just like to read and like start to finish the book. That's so. amazing. Do you ever read a book and they make a movie of it? And yeah. you get disappointed in the movie or? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it never follows it's like never, exactly the book. It's never as good, out. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm waiting for my autobiography to go out on, and we'll <laughs> see. <laughs> so, what uh, if you're thinking about the rest of this year? What is something you're really looking forward to? And what is something you might miss when you leave? Um, something I would miss for sure is like seeing my friends every day and like my favorite right. teachers too. So I'm kind of upset about that, yeah. but I'm looking forward to like the end of the year because a lot of fun events, prom, banquet, yeah. all of that. A lot of things coming Great up. weather. Exactly. Yeah. And what are your plans this summer? This summer, um, I'm trying to go somewhere fun. Me and my friend are planning to go to a bunch of boardwalks this summer. Oh, very so, nice. Well, like along cool. the coast, so yeah. that'll be fun. Well, Jersey boardwalk's a blast. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm excited cool. for. Oh, that's excellent. Well, our time is up. <laughs> Thank so you. On behalf of the Chelmsford Rotary Club, which sponsored the program, and Chelmsford High Administration, congratulations on being one of Chelmsford High Students of the Month for Hawthorne. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck this year. <laughs> Thank you. This concludes our latest edition of Lions Pride. I want to thank our deans for their thoughtful words and beautiful summaries of each recipient. I'd also like to thank the Chelmsford Rotary Club for their unending support of this great program. Congratulations to all of this month's Students of the Month. On behalf of the Chelmsford Rotary and the deans, thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>